Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Now with uh, Devin AI saying uh, it's going to be to replace the software engineers and also the NVIDIA saying we don't need to learn code because the AI is going to do that for us. I'm here and I'm going to create a full Laravel tutorial. I have a long time creating such a tutorials about Laravel because the Laravel 11 has came out. I'm going to create a full tutorial so to learn a Laravel from scratch for beginners. And here I am in the laravel.com website. And let's get started. And we are in the installation section, the Laravel documentation. And let's scroll down, so meet Laravel and why you will learn Laravel. And here we have creating a Laravel project. So before creating your first Laravel project, make sure that your local machine has PHP and Composer installed. So if you are developing on macOS, PHP and Composer can be installed in minutes via the Laravel Earl. And I'm going to open this in a new tab here. Okay, so what we need is just a download of this application. So I'm going to download that and first I'm going to open the terminal. So I'm going to open the iTerm, but you can open your terminal of your choice. And here I'm going to say just Compose. Composer not found, also PHP version and PHP is not found, so I don't have the PHP and Composer in my machine. Okay, so now let's install this application. What we need is just know with the application and this also, let's scroll down. And here we have when will Earth for Windows be available and Earth for Windows launches in March. So, Sony so is going to be available also for Windows. And now let's uh, open the card application. Okay, open that. Let's get started. We need to add the password and we need to enter. And it's going to download the PHP 8.3 as you can see. Okay, so here we have a pro version which has uh, some services that you may need, but I'm going to skip for now. And you can now use Hurt, PHP Composer and Laravel in your terminal. So all PHP projects placed in the Hurt directory will be automatically available in your browser. I'm going to, let's get started. Okay, and here is the word now. As you can see, we have Nginx uh, FPM for 8.3 and it's going to use the PHP 8.3 as you can see. Now if I open the settings, okay, now here we have Word files. All subfolders in those directories will be available via Word. And we have users Tony Word, but if you don't like the Word and you want to create a new directory there, so I'm going to open the terminal, ls, yep, we have the word as you can see here but for example i want a code directory so let's say make directory and i'm going to name it code okay and now if i say ls yeah here we have the code and i want all the projects to be inside the code what we can do is just come here click on the plus sign and choose the code say open and now also the subfolders inside this code is going to be available on the earth. Then we have sites. Right now we don't have PHP. Uh, we have PHP 8.3, but you can install 8.2 and so on. Also node, and we can install node versions. We don't need for a basic Laravel application, but um, we are going to need after, so I'm going to install that. And we are ready to go. So I'm going to close this and also close this one and this one. And now, yeah, you can, uh, after you have installed PHP and Composer, you may create a new Laravel project via Composer, like running this command, or you may create new Laravel projects by globally installing the Laravel installer. But because we have heard, we have the Laravel here and we can use Laravel new and the name of the project. So let's copy this command. 
let's clean the post and I'm going to see the the code directory and here and let's see if we have the Laravel now. No. I'm going to close that and open again the writer. And now if I say Laravel, it enter we have the Laravel and I'm going to clean this. And let's zoom it a little bit for you. And let's say CD in the code directory. And now let's say Laravel new and you can pass a name, but I prefer just to say new here. And then we have a prompt. What is the name of your project? So let's say uh, example. Example dash. Ah, hit enter. And would you like to install the starter kit? By default, it's selected no starter kit, but we have Breeze here or Drive and Stream. Now, Breeze and Stream are two authentication packages from Laravel, but I'm going to choose no starter kit here. And which testing framework do you prefer? Let's select best and no forget repository. And now it's going to create a project at the example dash app directory. Now, which database will your application use? By default, it's selected the SQLite, which is a file based database, but also we have options here. And let's choose SQLite for now. Okay, now instead of using the PHP Artisan Serve, because we have installed the Erd application, we can open that project here using the dot test extension. So let's say example dash app dot test hit enter and here is the Laravel project. Okay. We have the Laravel 11 as you can see and the PHP 8.3. And that's it how you can set up the Mac for Laravel development. Now, if you have Windows and you want to start right now, I suggest you to use uh, Docker. So here we have Docker installation using the SAID. And that's it all about this video, friends, how to set up the Mac for Laravel development and start a new Laravel tutorial for beginners. Now, if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.